everyone, konnichiwa minasan. So please excuse my really, really bad cold, but today we're making an exciting recipe. So this cake both looks and tastes like a cute fall pumpkin, but when you slice it in half, you reveal a spooky jack-o'-lantern. This is actually such a simple technique, but it looks so cool and it's gonna surprise everybody when you cut into it. And even if you don't wanna turn it into a jack-o'-lantern, this cake and buttercream tastes amazing, so you should totally, totally try it out. So let's get started. So first, you want to combine some milk and vinegar in a glass and stir. Place in the fridge for 20 minutes and you'll have some homemade buttermilk. Then place the flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg and cloves in a bowl and whisk together. Then set that aside. Then place the butter and brown sugar in a bowl and beat them with an electric mixer until they're pale and fluffy. Add the eggs one at a time, beating with each addition. Then add the flour mixture in three additions, alternating with the buttermilk. Then add and combine the pumpkin puree. Add a few drops of orange food coloring to brighten the batter and then set that aside. So now to make the facial features, I'm using my Starbucks pumpkin spice latte cake that I made last year. And if you like the recipe for this, I'll have this linked at the end of the video and down below. It tastes so, so good. And what you want to do is slice that into six thick slices. Cut two triangle shaped eyes out of one slice and then use these pieces of cake as stencils for two more slices. Then repeat with the remaining three slices for the mouth. And you want to save one large scrap of cake for the pumpkin stem. Then grease and flour three nine inch round baking pans. In one pan, arrange the pairs of eyes back to back. Then repeat with the mouth in the second pan. Pour the pumpkin cake batter on top, making sure to fully cover the cake pieces. And then pour the remaining cake batter into the third pan. Bake the cakes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 to 60 minutes. Let the cake cool in the pans for 30 minutes, then transfer them to a wire rack and allow them to fully cool. To assemble, Place the smallest cake face down on a tray lined with parchment paper. Then place the cake with the mouth on top, right side up, then flatten the surface of the cake and then place the cake with the eyes on top, again checking the bottom of the cake to make sure that the eyes and the mouth are facing in the same direction. Then you want to place a marker on the tray to remind yourself which way the face is facing. And then all you need to do is carve the cake into a sphere. So this buttercream is from my Starbucks pumpkin spice latte cake as well and it tastes awesome. So you want to mix a small amount of this buttercream with some cocoa powder to dye it brown. And then coat the entire cake in a thin layer of the pumpkin spice buttercream. And then coat it in another thicker layer. Make grooves in the buttercream to mimic a pumpkin and then cover the stem in the chocolate buttercream and stick it on top of the cake. Then to serve, just slice the cake in half to reveal a jack-o'-lantern face and you are done! So thank you all so much for watching. Next week we have some more spooky recipes coming so make sure to hit that bunny shaped subscribe button so that you don't miss out on those recipes. And I love you guys so much and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye! Oh my god, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. You guys have no idea how little I want to cut this cake. I just want to leave it and let it be and just have faith that like it'll somehow look nice in the middle and I really don't want to actually check to see if it looks good because oh my god, like it's <laughs> oh, so they're from me. It's ridiculous. Like who thought a cake would be able to scare the crap out of somebody? Seriously. Okay. Okay, we can do this. I trust that I marked it the right spot. I trust. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Okay, 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 okay. So, we're just gonna do this. Look, it's too late. It's too late now. Oh my god. Oh my god.